Are you looking for gifts for your spouse, for your friends, for your Bible study that you want to incorporate the faith in? Well, we have a lot of great items and books coming up next in this video. Hey everyone, we're Drew and Katie Taylor with Catholic Link. We're passionate about helping you reach new heights in your faith and your family life. And we're going to provide you with some awesome resources and gift ideas for people like us who are not really gifters. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the men, a little unusual. Usually we go ladies first, but uh, we've got some really cool stuff for the men and then we'll swap over and get some, uh, some really, really good gifts for the women. The first one that I'm really excited about, maybe it shows that I'm getting a little bit older, how excited I am <laughs> about these, but they're so cool, are uh, these socks by Sock Religious. So uh, for the man in your life that has a little bit of style in him, you could have Sacred Heart socks, you could have Rosary socks, you could have St. Joseph socks for uh, the husband or father in your life. And then last but not least, for To The Heights Ministry, you definitely need some Pierre Giorgio Frizzati socks in your life. They also have these for kids, so you can get matching. I love wearing them as well, and so they are definitely worth looking into. This is not the entire stock. There are tons of different saints that you can have as a patron. Next up for the man in your life is going to be a good rosary. So there are some really masculine, some rugged rosaries that are out there made of wood or metal. There's even some 550 cord out there for the paratrooper in your life. Um there are just some really good rosaries out there. We'll put a lot of links down below. Another great gift idea for men is going to be just a set of AirPods. So I use these almost every day, whether that's driving to and from work, working out, uh, just cleaning around the house, listening to my favorite Catholic podcasts or books on tape. So just a good resource or tool that someone in your life could use that they'll probably use every day. I know I use mine as well. So not just for men. True. Our next gift idea for men is going to be a crucifix or a necklace. So Catholic Company has some great ones on there. I really like my JP2 uh, cross that is, again, just kind of has a, a good, solid masculine feel to it that keeps me close to the faith. I really like it. Next up for men is going to be the Catholic card game. So this is a great challenge and response game. Just a good game if you get the friends together uh, to be able to play. A lot of laughs, a lot of joy, just... <laughs> Some good old school fun. Our next category for men is going to be book ideas. So there's some awesome Catholic books out there for men. The first one I'm going to recommend is Drinking with the Saints. So you have your patron saints or Saint Nick for the Christmas season. Some really good cocktails in there that are just tied to the liturgical season uh, that you can celebrate with joy and have a cocktail. I think that often liturgical living is a very feminine activities, <laughs> cooking uh, side of it. And this brings it for men to help bring it alive for them too in a fun way. Liturgical man living. <laughs> Another great idea for men are a couple different books that we love. So Go to Joseph is, again, at the end of the year of St. Joseph, just a great way, a good gift for maybe your husband or your father uh, just to dive into the spirituality of St. Joseph, 10-day uh, preparation and consecration to him by Renzo Ortega. Just a really quick, really great read to be able to grow spiritually in the faith. Yeah, especially as a father and a husband to really transform your marriage. Mm -hmm. The next book that we're including is uh, Single Seat Wisdom. And so Drew is actually one of the 20 fighter pilots featured in this book as they share their top lessons. And so this book, although not Catholic in nature, just has so many Catholic and Christian yeah. undertones to it that it really is for your high achiever that wants to integrate faith, but maybe doesn't quite know how or a direct faith book would be not as easily received mm. or as quickly read as something as cool as listening to fighter pilots. Let's talk about life lessons. And the awesome part about that is all of the proceeds go to charities helping families with uh, kids with childhood cancer find affordable housing near hospitals because they spend so much time going back and forth. So a really awesome book and a really awesome cause. Another book that we're going to recommend for men this year is Behold, It Is I. And what I think is great about this book is that if you have a man who wants to grow in the faith, but really needs to see the science behind it. This incorporates both Old Testament, New Testament, where the Eucharist comes from, why we believe in the true presence, as well as the chemistry and the science behind some miracles. And so it takes it from 
a philosophical, theological to a hard science as well in that spectrum. And so just a very good book to come back to in encouraging understanding the true presence in the Eucharist, which changes everything. Other books we recommend for men are Habits for Holiness by Father Mark Mary, The Through the Heart of St. Joseph by Father Boniface Hicks. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Uniformity with God's Will by St. Alphonsus de Liguori and The Way by St. Jose Maria Escurva are all super great resources, masculine resources for men to grow in their faith. Yeah, we'll put those all down in the description below. Next, we're going to talk about gifts for women. So the first thing is I need coffee as a mom of little kids. So having Catholic coffee is just super fun. If you're local to Phoenix, the dock or uh, the crowning glory makes wonderful teas, all Catholic themed. I And we'll put a link in below for the Catholic company has a bunch of brands as well that you can order no matter where you are. On that theme, we I personally love having a mug now that helps me when I sit down in prayer in the morning with the kids, the hustle and bustle to just remember what I truly believe and to start giving my day over to God. And so this one's by Rose Herring, just as Fiat. I have ones about being a mom. Mm. I have ones about taking a breath and spending a moment with Jesus, doing small acts with great love. And so all of those help me to refocus uh, as I just take a breath and drink my coffee. <laughs> Next, rosaries. You might think that the Catholic woman in your life has a lot of rosaries. Well, if she has small kids, they're probably lost, broken, destroyed. Uh, so on that note, uh, this is our one of our favorite rosary brands is Kegler Rosaries. I just love how beautiful these are, customizable with different saints and different medals and crosses. Then what I really love that they have created, and again, this is Kegler Rosary Studios, is this wrappable rosary that I can wear. And so it's a full rosary, connect it with a magnet. And what's really nice about this is that as a mom, I never know where my rosary is. But when I'm nursing in the middle of the night, I'm able to slide this off my wrist and pick up wherever I was in praying, especially when I'm half asleep and really my mind is filling itself with things that it doesn't need to fill itself with, I can utilize that time very purposely as prayer. And so this is a great gift for any woman in your life that wants to pray the rosary more. Another gift for your home is blankets. And so we have a couple favorites. This is from Fiat Halo. And so this is a actual full rosary on the blanket. It's also the softest, yeah. most incredible, cozy rosary, which is what they're called, uh, that you can have. And so bring that into your family as you snuggle up and pray the rosary. Another great idea for women is uh, the one sheep shirts, which have hilarious and super awesome, very Catholic t-shirts. And again, these are just the softest things in the world. So a great, uh, fun gift idea for a woman in your life. Yeah. In the hustle and bustle of life, I really find value in wearable reminders of my mm. faith, of who I am, my dignity as a child of God. And so along with that, my saint, my hero, I have bracelets that I wear. These are probably really hard to see, but they're little medals. Uh, one is the divine mercy. So for my consecration to merciful love, I have mm. one that's Mary. That's my consecration to Mary. They have tons. They have beautiful earrings that I can't find mine right now. So pray for that. I might need some new ones for Christmas uh, with Benedictine medals that are just, I, I get tons of compliments on them from people who aren't even Catholic. And then I'm able to explain and evangelize a little bit through that. A miraculous medal, I think, is essential for every woman in your life to have. And so we'll put some of our favorite designs down below. I, if you are interested in growing in the brown scapular, mm -hmm. I, I personally really like this one, although not the cloth traditional. What I like is that it doesn't break. And so by being you have a wood, lot of broken cloth <laughs> you see scapulars. a theme in my life. Durability. <laughs> Durability. It's a highly, as a mom highly prized. It's a, a good critical element. Yeah. And so if you want to grow on the brown scapular, we can put some resources down below as well as just this is that durable aspect. Next, I, for home decor. So there's so many different beautiful 
crucifixes, mm. uh, statues, different things that you can start to bring your home to look different. Because the reality is, is that if we're living our faith to the fullest, mm. our homes should be different. Our lives should be different. Every room should remind us of our faith of Christ. And so beautiful prints, we'll put some down below. One that is on my Christmas list this year is the Simple Saints. This is an example of their design. So these are their monthly saint cards that really help me liturgically live by just framing these and letting me know which feast days are coming up. But this year I'm going to order uh, for one of our hallways a saint for each one of our family. And so each one of our kids has a saint name. And so we'll do those. But if your kids aren't named after a saint, you could easily do a patron, a confirmation saint, something to represent your family or just some really awesome Catholic art. Next, every Catholic woman needs a planner. And I really like this one by Blessed Is She. This year was about trust and his plan being better than mine. They have a new theme every year. And so as those come out, theirs are great in just their design. This is the mini. They do have a full version. I've had both over the years. There's the Catholic Moms Planner. There's a bunch that we'll put down in the links below. But as we start this new year, helping the woman in your life stay organized, I and bring order to the chaos. So next we'll talk about some of our favorite women's books. Uh, first off, the Catholic All Year Compendium. Uh, they also have the Prayer Compendium that just makes liturgical living easy and accessible. And I dragged my feet on buying these. I don't understand why. They're amazing. Next is Grace and Gifted by Kimberly Hahn. She is beloved and blessed. Uh, so diving into homemaking, diving into marriage, really building your spirituality based in biblical uh, principles to live out life and this feminine genius in a beautiful way. The next book I highly recommend is Called by Name, uh, which is by Wine, Women in the New Evangelization. And one of the reasons why I love it is because Katie is one of the featured authors. So each day is just a very quick daily devotion, um, bringing you closer to the Lord and walking with a lot of women that are in ministry right now to help you grow closer. So just a great resource for women uh, looking to grow in their faith. We have a list of our favorite Bibles down below, but we also are really passionate that every home should own a catechism. Every catechism should be read. And so maybe this year, after finishing a Bible in a year, I you do a catechism in a year and start diving into what the church teaches. And the more that I read this, the more that I understand the beauty, the love of our Father and the wisdom that he gives us through our church. And so gift your home with this resource. For other books for women and just for families, we'll put a lot of resources down in the description. Some of my favorite cooking books to bring liturgical feasts alive, the different books for bringing the theology into your home. We'll do books for creating an on-fire marriage, a faithful family culture. And so all of those are down below. Know that we are passionate in helping you. And so please let us know your questions, your favorite resources. And until next time, know that we will be praying for you. God bless. Thank you.